From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. The next segment is sponsored by Tyler Junior College. Welcome back. It's time to head to the Apache Kitchen. And this week, Chef Larry Madsen shows us how to make what he calls a sweet biscuit. Welcome back to Apache Kitchens. I'm Larry Matson. I'm the executive chef with the TJC Culinary Arts Program. And today I've got Rebecca Poole with me, who's one of our pastry chefs, and we're gonna do scones. Scones are very similar to biscuits, uh, but they're not quite as delicate. We've got a couple ingredients that are different in meaning that we're gonna using heavy cream instead of butter, and we're gonna use bread flour in place of pastry flour or cake flour. And it's, it's kind of a sweeter biscuit. So we're, Rebecca's adding some candied orange peel and dried cherries. We're gonna just mix this up, kind of get them separated. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our granulated sugar, our baking powder, and a little bit of salt. We're gonna make sure we get that all incorporated really well. And then we're gonna start adding our honey and our heavy cream. We're gonna start by adding about half of the heavy cream. Gonna go ahead and add this honey in. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and try to get it here in the middle. So at this point, we're just trying to get the heavy cream to work its way into the flour. So we're gonna let it sit. You know, we're gonna turn the bowl upside down, just let it sit and not work it anymore so we don't develop the gluten, make it that hockey puck type texture, you know, really hard. Put a little flour on the table so when I put it out on it, it doesn't stick to the table. Form it into a disc here. And it's okay if it kind of looks flaky. You want that, you want it nice and tender. All right, so from here, just gonna flip the bowl over it for, let it rest for five minutes. Now that it's rested for about five minutes, we're gonna take the bowl off the top and then we're going to just check this a little bit. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more flour to the top so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin. And I need to make sure that it's not stuck. You don't wanna go all the way to the end. And then when you switch to the other side, then you're rolling out those areas that kind of had that lip. So we wanna do like an eight to 10 inch round. And then from there, we are going to cut it. So I'm just gonna take my pastry knife or bench scrape. So we're gonna cut it into eight pieces. So she's cutting it in half and then the quarters and then into the eights. And then the next step, we're gonna take some heavy cream and brush the, the heavy cream. And again, the heavy cream has the butter content, which is gonna help this to brown slightly. So now that I've got the cream on all of them, I'm just going to gently lift them, put them in the sugar, pat it slightly, and then put it on the tray. All right, from here, we're putting it in a 425 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. All right, so it's been about 14 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check on our scones. So a lot of times the ovens are relative. They all heat and cook differently. So you wanna always make sure you're checking it before the time. So she said it was 15 to 20 minutes. She checked it at about eight minutes also. Um, they look amazing. Let's see, you know, they got a nice browning. The, the bottom of them is a little bit dark, but it's still okay. You know, we're looking for the flavor of it. You know, oh, uh, look at that. It's just nice and tender, not stiff. It's soft. Oh, you could see that Very bite, tender. that was so nice. Um, so with Chef Pool, I'm Larry Matson from Apache Kitchen at TJC. Thanks for coming. Remember the previous segment was sponsored by Tyler Junior College. 